Hey everybody, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today Jake and I are going to be playing some more Flames of War. Yes. Okay, so this time we've got a treat for you. We're going to be, uh, well Jake's going to be running a list out of the new um, SS D-Day book. Yep. So at the time we're filming this, it hasn't been released yet, but by the time you watch it, uh, the book will be out and you guys can judge for yourself. So. Um, it should be an interesting battle. Uh, it's the first time either one of us has used or faced uh, SS in version 4, yep. at least late war. Um, Jake, you want to talk a little bit about your list and what you're bringing today? Yeah, of course. So I decided to mix my list up a lot, so I have a lot of different units going on. Um, it is based around an SS Panzer uh, Grenadier Company. Um, I took two platoons of infantry, I've got my HQ, um, in the platoons of infantry we upgraded each one of them to have an extra stand with a Panzer Shrek. Um, next up we have some 7.5 um, anti-tank guns, we also have 88s, Neville Warfers, oh the 88s by the way are not trained, they're hit on, easier to hit, I forget exactly. Three. Well it's, most of your armies it on threes, actually. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I have two anti-aircraft guns, um, three Panthers, which are about 26 points. They took up a nice chunk. I also have some Panzer 470s, right? That's They're Yog Panzer. Or Yog Panzers, Panzer that's right. Um, so we have Yog Panzers and also a platoon of four mortars. And I think that's everything. Right, right, yeah. I mean, you get a lot of stuff because you're basically hit on threes for the majority of your, your thing. Yep. So you've got a lot of points to play with. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. It's a good mix. You've got some heavy uh, anti-tank. You've got uh, some good infantry, lots of uh, artillery, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's very different than what we've been playing, so that's nice. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm taking uh, an airborne company. So I'm taking the... I guess it doesn't matter rules-wise, but the 101st, because that's what my guys are painted as. Yep. Um, so I have my HQ with the two guys with submachine guns, two full um, rifle platoons with um, extra bazooka and an LMG team. One of those two platoons has two LMG teams. I didn't have enough to give a second LMG to the second platoon. Um, then I have a platoon of airborne jeeps. A, um, which should be pretty, I mean, they're jeeps, but they all have 50 cals on them. Yep. And I have a platoon of uh, airborne mortars, so 81 millimeter mortars, I think. Um, then I have, in support of that, I have a unit of M10 tank destroyers, a unit of four stewards, and a unit of M12, which is the uh, 105, 155 millimeter mole artillery. Oh, and I think in my core formation I also have some pack uh, 75 millimeter artillery as well. So that is mine, and it comes to exactly 100 points. I did have two points. One is spent on Lucky, and the other is spent on Desert Veterans to make my M10s um, skill rating a 3 plus, so they can pull, hopefully, scoot and shoots off more reliably. Nice. So that's uh, that's my army. Oh yeah, and I did say mine was 99 points, and yeah. I did buy um, Lucky as well. Yeah, Lucky. Because yeah. it's the best card. Yeah, yeah, it's a great card. <laughs> Although I think my Lucky has failed me the last two or three times I've used it, but yeah. at least they do. That's my fault. So. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to be playing the first mission out of the new SSD Day book. So that's going to be new to both of us too, and mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I know we had some issues with the one out of the German book, one of the missions out of the German book that we played, we had to change it a little bit to make it a little bit more fair. But uh, we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully it's uh, it'll be a fair fight. I think you are going to be attacking me. Yep. And uh, basically an SS counterattack on the D-Day forces, and we'll see how it goes. So when we come back, we'll be deployed, and we'll all talk about the mission. We are deployed and we have the mission ready to go. The mission we are playing today is called Encirclement. Woo. So the idea is the Allies, me, have been pushing into Normandy. Jake, with his SS forces, I'm not going to call you SS. Thanks. Uh, 
Yes. I can't even like cheer for that because it's No, just see even different. if you lose, you yeah, win. It's just like it. <laughs> Lousy SS. Anyway, um you are counterattacking the allies as they're moving inland. So this is your big chance to, to do it. So encirclement is one of the new missions on the um in the new SS D Day book. It's the first one. They kind of had to have a little mini campaign you can play. Um, the way that this works, it's set up a little bit different than normal is, as the defender, I have a long table edge. Jake could deploy his objectives anywhere like along this strip, and also a strip down the middle. Yeah, it could have been like right here. So he chose to go extreme wings there and there to keep me spread out. Now the other twist is he, you can deploy, but you have to deploy in your corners. So yeah, you've got a I, 16 by 16, right? Yeah, it was 16 by 16 squares, and then it was a 40-60 split for the army. Mm -hmm. So it's almost exactly 60 and 40. So this is your 60. We'll go over the uh, units in just a sec. And then you did 40% over here. Yeah. So you start with everything. Um, yes. But it's separated out. So it's you couldn't put all 100% here and crush me yeah. quickly that way. So that's uh, that's pretty interesting. As the defender, I get to place two minefields, and again the objectives are here and here. For Jake, I placed a minefield here in no man's land, on that road, and in that uh, plowed field over there. Jake and I were joking about the poor farmer. <laughs> he comes up. back after the war's over. Comes back to his home, rebuilds his home, steps out onto the field for the first time. That's really dark, man. You horrible monster. All right, so um, as the defender, I needed to put 40% uh, of my force, or 40 points, into uh, immediate scattered reserve. So my 40 points, actually I think it came out to 42, are over here. We have uh, Stewart's M12 artillery, pack 75 millimeter artillery, and 81 millimeter airborne mortars. Then in ambush, I have my unit of M10s with the Desert Veteran upgrade card. Defending this objective, I have one paratrooper platoon. I have a unit of airborne jeeps armed with 50 cals. And then over here, I have my other para platoon and I've got my company commander over here on the side. You can see I'm kind of in an odd shape and that's because Jake has a range and marker here and he has a range and marker there. He's within two inches of the edge so he can uh, hopefully see that to do some bombardment. Now over on Jake's side we'll let him describe what he's got. Let's start over here with your big chunk of your army. Yeah so I've just got my two infantry platoons and the company commander and the two I see are there too. Okay. Um, my anti-aircraft guns, um, Yog Panzers, um, 7.5s, and the Nebs. And then over here we have my Panthers and my Pumas, um, 88s, and my Mortars. Sounds good. So it looks like these guys are on the road. They're just going to try to drive over here and put as much pressure as he can over here so that'll be interesting all right so the Germans have the first turn yep. the way you win is you hold an objective at the end of any of your turns either objective the way I win is after turn six you are not within eight inches of any objective or either one of our formations break and with that we're gonna go on and start with German turn one And uh, the Germans are done with their movement. Jake, you want to go over what you've done? Yes. So um, I did some orders. The only order I actually failed were for the command unit. Um, these two did blitzes to just get up farther into the woods. Okay. Um, thanks to the old hands, is that what that rule was called? Yeah. For the SS. Um, I rolled a three on these guys for their blitz, but because my commander could see them and they were closer, um, he passed it on a three, which yeah. is cool. Um, so, yeah, they blitzed up. Um, these guys just moved up. Um, these guys can only move. They did their terrain dash or whatever it is. 
They so, did cross country. Yeah, four so inches. they moved four instead of two. Woo! Yeah, that's twice as fast. And then uh, Panthers, um, successful blitz over here as well. Um, moved the reconnaissance. They could move 36 inches. Or no, yeah, on a road. On a road, so yeah. They could go pretty much wherever they want. So they dashed. Yes, so they dashed to get to that spot and just kind of... Because you could potentially ambush like right here. Mm -hmm. So I just threw them there for that reason. Sounds good. And that's pretty much it. I think I'm ready to start dropping artillery on you. All right, so on to the shooting phase. All right, so Jake is firing with those mortars. He's going to try to range in here. Yep. So you basically you cover something like that, yeah. which would be pretty good. Now, normally you said your skill is three for the mortars. Yes, so and it's then four because of the tall terrain that yeah. I'm covering. If the template covers any tall terrain, I'd add one to your range in. All right, so let's see uh, your first attempt. Looking for four. First. Hey. First and only. All right, so that's going to cover... Looks like four from the infantry platoon, and then the two from the uh, command, the company command. Okay. So if you want to... One at a time, right? Do them one at a time. So okay. let's go up here. Yeah, so so I'm guy. hit on a four, so he's hit. Next guy, he's hit. Oh, you're doing well. Yeah. Uh, nope. Nope. And, and then, then this plus. guy. Yep. And then the... The commander closest to me. Yep. Hit. And the other guy behind him. Okay. All right, so all those guys who were saying burn your German dice, you're, you're starting pretty game. good. Now, now it's good. <laughs> well, you can't say that yet because it could just get really terrible. <laughs> yeah, but all your movement, uh, which we did off camera, all those rolls were pretty yeah, good too. Yeah, only one fail. So. All right, so let me grab some dice here. Okay, so that uh, LMG team up front. Jake, you're going to want to check what your firepower is. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay LMG's good. Bazooka is good. This generic rifle team is good. And this company commander is good. All right, so they're both pinned, but um, you didn't do enough damage, or you didn't kill anybody. Yeah. Okay, so I am using my nebs on trying to range in on that spot right there. All right, so if you're successful, you should cover a good group of teams there. Yeah. All right, and it looks like it is covering terrain, though. Yes. So you want to double check their skill. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I'm pretty sure, just like the other guys, it is a three. All right, so three up base. Yep. So looking for a four to range in. Let's see if you get on the first attempt again. Nope. Nope. Second attempt. There yes. you go. Okay. Um, so instead of hitting you on fours, I'm hitting you on fives. Now. Yeah. All right. So I'll point, and then uh, you roll. Nope. Nope. This guy. Yes. Okay. This guy. No. So four. This guy back here. Yes. So the and mortar. the last guy. No. no. Okay. So you got a rifle team and the 60 millimeter mortar. So we're going to go rifle team here. It's good. Mortar is a possible firepower. Sweet. So I want to say they're three up or something My like that. My firepower is a four plus. A four plus with the nymphs? Yes. Okay. Let's see that four up to kill that 60 mil. Nope. Nope. <laughs> but uh, these guys are pinned down as well. Okay, my SDKFZ 7 slash 1 SS quad AA platoon <laughs> is shooting uh, three shots from each because they moved this turn um, into your infantry right there. Okay. So go ahead. So that's six or shots. I guess I could also aim at this guy too. You could. This tree is yeah. part of these woods. In fact, I think I will aim at that guy. Okay. Just because it's the same no matter what. All right. So short range. Uh, they're going to ground and concealed, so you're going to need sixes to hit. Yes. Nothing. No. Nope. <laughs> okay. Get out all your ones in, in one big roll. We could just jump over to this guy real fast. Okay. Uh, he's got three shots. We'll aim for the same target. So he's just using machine guns? Yeah. All right. Sixes. Still no. no. Uh, let's see, those guys? Yeah, um, I fired them. Um, I could fire my Panthers, which why not? I'll need sevens, but they have nothing else to do. So I'll go ahead and shoot three main gun shots into this guy. Yeah. Those guys. LMG team? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Sixes followed by a five up, right? Yeah. Hey, there you go. I hit once. Let's see that save. He's oh, good. Those guys are good. <laughs> and with that, we are done with the German turn. Yep. So are you happy with your turn so far? I mean, it, you're dug in veteran infantry, so I can't really 
expect a whole lot anyway. Yeah. Um, you got pretty lucky on your saves for infantry. Yep, like, you yep. should have failed at least one or two. I did. I, I made my... You failed your firepower. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you failed the, yeah, the two over there. Probably more, though. I feel like I should have killed at least one, two stands of infantry total. Well, I think you pinned down everything on the board except my jeeps. Yeah. So we'll see if we can unpin. I'm fearless, so I'm going to be getting back up on a 3+, plus, but... We'll see how that goes. Cool. All right, so on to American Turn 1. First things first, let's do some unpinning. We're going to try to unpin the um, big platoon over here. On a three up, we are good. The um, company commander we're going to unpin. I forget with him if he stays pinned or, or not, but he can make himself re-roll it. Nope, he's still pinned. And then, over here, this is going to be a big one, we need this platoon to unpin. No. Woo Do I spend my lucky? No, not yet. Yeah, not really good. Uh, it's not dire yet. And I did place my ambush, even though I should have done that in the opposite order. But, uh, so now, now, Jake, we're going to roll for reserves. Okay. Now, last game, I didn't get reserves on the first turn, but I got two reserves on the second turn. <laughs> so, I like it matter. <laughs> let's see if, if I can bring something in to really ruin your day. Okay. No. Yes. Yeah, no excellent. reserves. <laughs> Crap, that means they're all coming in next turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's what that means. All right, so uh, on to movement, as it were. All right, American movement is done over here. I moved uh, the platoon commander and several um, teams just up into these buildings. Basically, the only thing that's going to happen is I got a bazooka team into that corner. It'll probably take a pot shot at that puma. Um, puma. Not puma. Puma. I like, I like saying that because it makes him mad. <laughs> uh, the rest of these guys are staying put and uh, they are, you know, st keeping their dug in status. Over here, I moved out the uh, Jeeps to shoot at the AA trucks with their 50 cal machine guns. And I popped my M10 ambush. We're going after those uh, Yog Panzers, Yog Panzer IVs, and see if we can knock them out. I couldn't do any repositioning here because I failed my morale, but um, uh, I mean, I failed my, my uh, pin down check. So we're going to go on to shooting. All right, first up, we're gonna go ahead and start with this platoon, Jake. Okay. So we've got two things going on. My 60 millimeter mortar is just within range of that 188. So uh, we're gonna do that bombardment there. And then I've got one bazooka into the Puma. The machine guns can see the Puma, but we'll have to double check to see if I can even hurt you. I don't think I can, uh, but maybe if your front armor's one, I might be able to, to do something. Uh, so on to, uh, let's do the range in over here first, because that's the one that's probably gonna fail. So normally I range in on a three plus, I've only got one gun, so I believe I am re-rolling my successful um, uh, hits. And I think, because it's only one gun, it's a plus one to range in, but I'll double check that. All right, so the only penalty for that mortar that I can see single mortar firing is just I'm going to re-roll any successful hits if I get them. So obviously it, the template's just going to cover that 188. Um, I think I could probably do a Jake so it's not covering the fence, just like a little bit further behind. It's not tall terrain anyway, so I don't think that would it, It's still low terrain oh, really? would too. So. That's so lame. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure since I don't have to actually aim on the the target itself. Yeah, I could do that. Let's do this. Okay. So, uh, but let's see if I can range in on a three up. A second attempt. I think I that's think pretty cocked. two cocked. <laughs> second attempt. There we go. So normally you're hit on a three, right? Uh, yes. So I'm hitting on a four, but re-rolling uh, my successes. So basically I have to roll two four ups yep. for that guy. And I didn't. So. All right. So, um, He's not hit, so you're not pinned down, so that's good. Cool, cool. Then let's go with this bazooka. Normally, uh, these guys are hit on a three as well, right? Your whole army's hit on a three plus. Uh, yeah. So, um, I'm a bazooka heavy. I moved, so I'm going to hit you on a four. And we got it. Um, so, it's AT-10. Oh, sorry, yeah, AT-10 versus your front armor three, so you can't stop it. So, we're going for a five-up firepower test. Yep. And he's bailed out. 
Next up, these M10s are going after the Panzer, uh, Jag Panzer IVs. I've got eight shots. I am within 16. They are hit on threes, so let's see if we can take them out. We'll just target that tank in the middle so there's no cover for Jake. And looking for threes. Okay, we missed two. So we got six hits, which conveniently translates into two for each. So, um, Jake, your front armor's seven. Yes. So if you get a six, you bounce five equals. So if okay. you want to do the this first guy. Yeah. So bounce and one penetrate. One penetrate there. You just want to roll it. Let's roll it. And he's destroyed. This one right here. Middle guy. Uh, two, two firepowers. And then uh, the he's last. destroyed. Uh, one firepower. Yeah, he bounce one. So we bounce one and then a three up. He's destroyed. Oh. So that's a clean sweep for the Yogg Panzer IVs. <laughs> We're not off to a good start with them. Next up, my Jeeps are going to be firing into those two AA trucks. Um, I'm at long range because 50 cals have a 20 inch range in version 4. So I, I stayed a little bit back. I could have driven into short range, but then I kind of opened myself up more up to those guys and those guys. So I kept them back just within range. Since these guys are hit on threes, normally I'm going to hit them on fours, which is still pretty darn good. And that's going to be a lot. Of, so that's going to be three saves for each one. Except for that three. Oh, that three. So we'll do two, and then we'll do three for the guy up against the house. Okay, so two on this guy. And it, you have four up saves, right? He's dead. Yes. Yeah. And then three for the other guy. He's super dead. Okay. All right, so I think that's the end of my turn. I think that was a very good turn for me. Yep. Um, I, I killed two units. And, um, yeah, so I, I debated whether I wanted to keep my M M10s as a counter to your uh, Panthers, which they're a pretty decent counter, just not from the front so much. Yeah. But this was going to get really hot really quick, because next turn these guys could probably get, if they're not in assault range this turn, next turn for sure. Yeah. Um, and then all that firepower. So now really any tank wise you just have the packs over here and then those those two are still scary even though they're hit on threes I think they assault on a three plus I think they're they're pretty good at assault um, so we'll see how it goes but overall it's pretty good the Jeeps did good the M10s did good over here we bailed him out so he's gonna have to bail back in or they're testing and uh, yep that's it all right so on to German turn two All right. Okay, so um, a three plus and I get back in. Okay. I do. He's good. And then uh, that's it. No one else is pinned. Nope, you just murdered uh, everybody. So yeah, I just murdered <laughs> those two. So it's on to your movement phase. Okay, so for my movement, um, I pulled the Panthers over. This one stayed still because he has a shot at M10s, and then these two moved. Um, I pulled the Pumas back to just get away from the infantry. Um, everything stayed over here. Um, these two guns stayed still so they can get shots at M10s. This one moved. Um, both of my infantry platoons moved up and my commanders are in the woods. Um, basically it's now or never. And then yeah, that was pretty much it. All right, so on to some shooting. Okay, so I'm going to try to range in here with my mortars. I'm covering four teams. Uh, so the first attempt needing a five. Go. Fail the first, on to the second, got the second. So normally you're hit on fours. All right, so you're hitting these four here, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you're hitting me on fives. Yes. Nope. nope. Second guy. Nope. Third guy. Yes. Yep. Fourth guy. Yes. Okay. So like that and that. Uh, this platoon commander in here. So firepower test for him. Three plus firepower on these mortars. Got it. And a firepower test for him. I'll fail that one. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm moving my bombardment over just a little bit, but I get all four jeeps and four infantry teams. Okay, and well, that's from the Nebelwerfers. Yeah. They can see that spot. Yep. Okay. So hitting on a three. All right. Which okay. we do. So um, we've got your four jeeps. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start here and just go down. All right. So left to right, or sorry, right to left. Yep. Is that, uh, you're just hitting me on fours. So one, two, two three. three. Nice. Okay, <laughs> then you got, looks like four teams. Yep, closest so to me. And we'll then just we'll start work our way back. back. Hit him. Yeah. Missed. Hit him. And missed. Okay. That's pretty good bombardment. <laughs> yeah, very good. All right, so um, we'll do the infantry teams first. This guy, three up. He's good. This bazooka team, three up. He's good. Then we've got four ups across the board for the Jeeps. This guy is destroyed. This guy is destroyed. This guy is destroyed. And this guy is alive. Huzzah! <laughs> but he will be testing. All right, the Panthers. We are getting um, two, three, four shots at M10s. Okay, which one are you targeting? Uh, we'll just target this guy right here. The one in here? Yeah. Okay. All right, so normally I'm hit on fours. Fives for uh, range and six for concealment. Yep. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm splitting these shots up because they can only see specific tanks. Um, so this guy is shooting at the M10 on the end. All right. Um, I'll need sixes as well. Yep. Still nope. fives. And then the, this guy is shooting at the M10 that's closest to you. This guy. No, uh, let's re-roll that one. That was pretty cocked. No. Okay. Okay, so we have um, Panzer Shreks. So we're going to shoot this guy from this platoon into this lead M10. Okay. Um, so normally fours and goes up to fives. Because you are heavy or no? Uh, no, because you're concealed. Because I'm concealed. So yeah. they're not. there are no heavy rules or anything with that. Um, let me double check real fast. Okay. All right, just to clarify, it's slow firing, but it's just one shot. Yep. So normally you hit me on fours, fives, because I'm concealed, sixes because of slow firing. And basically you're going to get one shot with this platoon and one shot with that platoon. Yeah. Right? Okay, so here we go. So the one, one close to me, no, oh. and then and the then other one. second one, no. no. So you're rolling high, but you're just now rolling yeah. sixes, Yeah. which it's, is what you need. Man, I feel like, especially now in Flames of War, getting your guys to veteran status or whatever it is, hitting on yeah, hitting hard on, to hit is hitting totally on fours. worth, is like almost always worth the points. It is, it, it, it can be. Because like, I think I would have killed all of them by now had you not been veterans. You got a lot of fives, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, that's it for your shooting, correct? Oh, no, you got 88s. Weren't the 88s going to shoot at someone, or are they going to stay? Uh, yeah, they're going to okay. shoot, because why not? Um, so I'm going to shoot four shots into assorted guys in the okay. building and out in the open and whatnot. Okay, so... Okay, so 88s are shooting at the guy in the woods. All right. So let's see some sevens. Maybe. One. I don't know why I targeted the guy in the woods. That was stupid. <laughs> I should have just targeted. Well, with those other rolls, you wouldn't have hit. Oh, I guess it's always or... sevens, no matter what, right? Yeah. Okay. If they didn't shoot. Wait, hold on. Okay, and then rolling a five or six. No. All right. So this platoon of SS assaulted first. They managed to get four teams into base contact with this guy, basically. Um, so that is um, a defensive fire time. So we'll figure out what defensive fire we got. All right, so I, the, the brave SS, I got to give it to them, Jake. They're they're going in, even though it's a lot of defensive fire. Yeah. <laughs> I've got uh, so I've got a lot of shots that are going to be out in the open. We'll resolve those first. It's two M10s and uh, one rifle team, basically, are shooting out in the open. So that's going to be seven shots coming at you, hitting on threes. So we've got three so far. And then we've got um, three rifle teams shooting through the woods. So these are going to be hitting on fours. And then we've got one bazooka team firing, which is going to hit on a five. No. And that's it. But it, I did get exactly five. Yep. So you put four in base contact. So the, this guy in the back will give um, 
two, two, and then one for each one of the other guys. Do you just want me to point and you roll? Yeah. All right, so this guy. Good. He's good. Next guy. Dead. Dead. Next guy. Good. good. And then this guy's got two. Dead. Okay, so you lose this guy and this guy, and then you've got to break, uh, break off. And then they fall back there. I don't know, Jake, are you going to even try to assault with those guys? I don't know. Give me, let me think. Okay. <laughs> and on further consideration, I think Jake's not going to assault. Um, I think if he had managed to kill some of those, or even just bail out some of those N10s, it would be a lot different. Yeah. But Unfortunately, I can't make it very exciting. I don't think this game's going to go on super long <laughs> after this, because <laughs> that was pretty much it. <laughs> that, that's, that's big. Um, and we talked off camera a little bit about the pros and cons of you dropping a line of smoke right here. Yeah. Um, I mean, it would have been one harder to hit. So I guess you your guys probably would have made it through in the assault, but then you wouldn't have killed the Jeeps and all that stuff over here. So it's, yeah. a, it's a tough call. Yeah, it's a tough I think call. I still would have bombarded just because the smoke doesn't help enough. And that smoke strip down there too, I wouldn't have got half more than half of these shots at them, yeah. especially from the Pack 40s too. And so... Right, I probably, most people I feel like probably wouldn't have dropped the smoke. Yeah, I don't know, it's a good question. Um, okay, so that is it for German, a rather lackluster German turn two. Yep. Did you kill anybody this turn? You killed the Jeeps. Yeah, you killed, killed Jeeps three and Jeeps. One guy over there. <laughs> and yeah, you killed one guy with a bombardment. So, that, I mean, you're, you're whittling us down. So on to American turn two. All right, start of my turn. I've got to do some, uh, let's do some unpinning, and uh, then we'll, we'll roll for reserve. So over here, uh, the company command uh, uh, platoon is unpinned. You managed to hit them with uh, artillery, so you repinned the, this platoon down. So they're good. So they're unpinned. And then... Over here, this platoon, which was still unpinned, I, I didn't unpin them from last turn. Ah, they're still. Now do I? Now do I do it? I don't think you really need to. <sighs> no, no. I guess not. And then over here, I have a morale check for my Jeep. I want to say it's a five up, but uh, we'll roll it and see. I think if they're recon, it is. Oh, okay. Regardless, they're totally fine, apparently. <laughs> let's let's double check that. I mean, there's no way it's a six. No, so. last stand's four plus. They're not bad because yeah. they're they're uh, uh, paratrooper jeeps. So, but he's testing every turn. So now I think everything is rolled for. So now we get two dice for reserves. Sorry to do this to you, Jake. We got one. We're gonna bring in the stewards. And you, you're gonna yeah. guess that. Is, yeah. All right, it's gonna be bad for you if I roll a one, two. They or come a in three, on this four, honestly. Three, four you really would be need bad. To roll a five, six for me. <laughs> five, six is over there, and, and even there, I'm not. I wouldn't be sad if they're over there. And neither would I. In the middle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll get those on and do some movement. All right, I, I felt bad doing this, but uh, since I, I rolled the back table edge, they can go anywhere along the table edge, so they're gonna come in here and basically just light up this infantry that failed. Um, I really wish these guys had um, unpinned so I could get more guys up to shoot at these guys, but I got a lot of vehicles, so I'm not too bad. He scooted over a little bit to get out of the, um, the blast template that's here and be at short range for his machine gun. Over here, these guys didn't move, and uh, he's just going to fire another bombardment at that 88, see if we can get him. So let's do that first, Jake, while, um, while I have the camera still rolling. So that uh, same 88 I shot at last time, I just need to range in on a 3+. plus. So we got it the first time, and then normally you're hit on 3s, but I reroll successes, so I need two 3-ups basically to hit him. So I hit him, so make your save. I'm not sure what your save is on an 88. I'm just going to roll it real fast. See if it's... Oh, I still don't know. <laughs> I think it's a 4-up. I think a 4-up gets it. It's either a 4-up or 3-up, but you might want to double check. And the 88 save is 4+, plus, so he is totally fine again. So, But you are 
hit by it, so they are pinned down. Yeah. But they're fearless, though, because those are SS-88s, right? Yeah, everybody's fearless. So then that, that's your three up. All right, so that's the shooting over there. Let's go ahead and go with uh, 250 cal shots into these guys from the Jeeps. And we got one so far, Jake, two. So we're going to put one on the uh, Panzer Shrek, and we'll put one on the guy behind him here. So if you want to do Shrek first, maybe? Yeah. Three up. Oh. And then the guy behind him. Now, technically, you could have swapped the Shrek hit if you want to. I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really don't think it's... I'm going to go with the uh, Parachute Rifle Company. Basically, LMGs have two shots. He's got one shot. And uh, this guy's got one shot because they're all pinned down. No one else can really see or have the range. So hitting on threes. So we got three hits. And we're targeting this platoon again. So we're just going to do front, front, and uh, that guy. If you want to make your saves, I'll just point. Oh, go good. this way. Okay. He's alive. He's good. This guy dead, yeah. and the guy next to him dead. Oh, so the front row gets mowed down by paratrooper machine gun shots. Next up, the Stuarts arrive, and in a blaze of glory, they're firing 20 shots at that platoon that's already uh, that's already hurt from the assault last turn. So the closest one to them. So uh, this is 19 shots, hitting on threes, and we'll roll another die. Okay. So, well, that looks probably about average. We missed with six of them, and then the 19th one hits. All right, so we're going to assign them because I'm not sure the division here of these platoons, and then we'll be back with some saves. All right, so this is how we're going to do it. We'll just go kind of left to right, up and down if you want to roll it. So first guy takes three hits, Jake. He's dead. Oh, the next guy takes three hits. He's dead. Uh, the Shrek takes three hits. He's dead. Oh, so close. The uh, platoon commander takes two hits. Ooh. He's alive. And then the last rifle MG team is alive. I think I got to reroll this one. That was pretty cocked. We've been rerolling them the whole time. Oh, they're alive. So basically, the first three guys die, the, the two guys in the back. I actually rolled insanely well on that. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> it was just the fact that there's three on each, really. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, that was, but still, I'll take that shooting. Yeah. All right, so here's my dilemma. I've got my M10s. They could fire 12 machine gun shots into the uh, other infantry platoon there. Or... Well, at least three of them could fire downrange at the Panthers, which are a little bit scary. I do have the uh, Pack 40s over there as a target, but uh, they have no HE on their main gun, so that's not a wise target, to say the least. So I think what we're going to do is, um, we're going to go with my gut instinct. Jake thought I should just unload everything here. We're going to do two and two. We're going to fire six machine guns at the infantry, and then two of these tanks are going to fire back at the Panthers. All right, so let's do the six machine gun shots at this larger remaining infantry platoon, hitting on threes. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll assign those in a second, and then let's do the shooting against the Panthers. That's going to be four shots against your Panthers. We're just going to target the, uh, the guy on the extreme closest to me. Um, and normally you're hit on threes, fours for range. So we got two shots, which basically we'll assign as boom and boom. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and assign these hits, and then Jake will come back for saves. All right, let's do left to right, just going up and up and up. So starting with your platoon commander. Alive. Alive. Dead. Oh, nice. Everybody else. So that was the third one. One, two, three. So this guy dies. And uh, you still have five in that platoon. And then over here... Um, your front armor is 9, it goes to 10 for range, my anti-tank is 12. So 1, I penetrate you, 2, I might bail you out. So uh, which one do you want to go for first, Jake? Alright, so we need two saves over here. Alright, so this guy, good, and the other guy, possible uh, bail. Possible bail, yeah. 3 up, no. Okay, I guess now with that result, I guess I probably should have shot at the infantry, but... Um, I'm pretty happy. Those two units are pinned down. That one platoon is going to be testing. Um, that, I'm pretty comfortable that I'm going to be holding that objective at least for another turn or two. And then I'm just waiting on my artillery to finally arrive. Uh, hopefully clean up the Germans. So we're going to see what Jake can do. I, I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so this might take a little while, uh, but uh, we're going to go to German turn three.
Unpin this guy. 88, sir. He does not. Not unpinned. Then uh, you've got... Unpin the infantry, the, the bigger unit. No. Uh, company commander can probably see oh, them. yeah, that's right. And within... Yes. Okay, they're, so they're unpinned. And then these two are, need to be unpinned. Unpin. No. Uh, company commander. Yes. Yeah, for those who want to know, he's just in this woods here, but he's within six so you can see him. And then uh, now to see this unit if they run away. They do. And they do. Company commander rerolls that? Yes or no? Ooh, I don't know. Roll it, but I'm not sure. So it's let's let's day. let's check that. All right, so uh, we were right. The uh, the pl company commander, since he's within six and can see the platoon commander, lets him reroll that last stand check, which he passed um, on a four. So you're going to dig in, try to dig in these platoons? Yeah, so the two-man one. Okay. Uh, we do. So five, yep. And then the other bigger one. Bigger unit. Yep. You do not. Okay. All right, I'm going to spend my lucky reroll. I like how you just get lucky with a shovel, by the way. That's lucky, hilarious. lucky shovel. All right. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm unlucky with the shovel. Apparently. No. apparently, that's very thick ground right there. Maybe not, they broke. Not so thick. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's it for pre-movement. So on to the movement phase. All right, my turn. Trying uh, to scrape something together. <laughs> all right. So movement's done. You want to talk yes. about what you did? So I passed both blitzes over here, which was cool. Okay. So I'm swinging so around. So you did use way. special movement rules. I did. There you go, internet. Yep. Okay. Take that. Okay. <laughs> These guy, uh, he wheeled himself into a tree, so he... He moved. failed his cross-check. He moved about two inches, though, anyway, so... <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, and then these guys stayed where they're at, and those guys tried to dig in. <laughs> so they they did not dig in, but Correct. they're going to ground. Yep. Um, and then over here. All right, so uh, where do you want to start with some shooting? Um, I want to shoot... Let me think about it, actually. Okay, shooting with the Neville Warfers. Okay. Um, where that... German bailed out marker is. <laughs> right there. So if you hit, you'll get four M10s and three infantry teams. Yep. So here we go. Rank okay. in. So normally you range in on a, well, not that. Not that. Uh, normally it's a three, so it's a four because of the uh, trees. Okay, because they are, uh, they're three up yes. skill? Yes. Okay. So you uh, you successfully range in on a second attempt. So you're hitting me on fives. So let's start with these M10s and go across first. So the first, mm. second, third, and fourth. So okay, two. So, so nice. you got this one and this one. And then starting with this bazooka going this way. Those three First, guys. No. Nope. Second and third. Oh, None okay. of them. Alright, so what's the uh, anti-tank on the Nebelwerfers? Uh I forgot. Alright, the anti-tank rating is two. Alright, so you're hoping I roll ones. Yes. So we'll go with this guy right here. Hey, there's a one. Four, Four plus right. and he explodes. Yes! Uh, and then this guy. Do it again. No, possible bail. Four plus. Bailed. Bailed. Okay. Now right, we got a repeat bombardment going off. Yep, these guys are repeating into that spot with three teams. Alright, let's uh, start with this guy closest to you. You're going to hit me on a four. And I get to reroll my fails for the repeat? Is that nope, what it is? I'm rerolling my saves. Oh, rerolling saves. Okay, so this guy. We hit him. Okay. Guy behind him. Hit him. And okay. the guy behind it missed. All right, so basically I reroll my save. So these guys, three up, he's good. The platoon commander, three up, he's good. Two threes. But they are pinned down. All right, two 88 shots now into this machine gun, I guess. Okay. Miss both. Okay. All right, so the Pumas are going to shoot. I'm going to shoot at the Bazooka team in the building with this one. Okay. And then with this guy, he's shooting at the MG team. Okay. So the Bazooka building guy uh, missed. Yes. All right, so this this Puma is going to fire at that LMG team. Missed. Nada. And then I'll go ahead and just jump into the Panthers. Okay. So these two can see the guy in the building. Yeah, there's a Bazooka guy there. You can totally see him with those two. Yep. So I'm going to actually go ahead and go with machine guns oh, on this okay. guy. And then the guy on this side is going to shoot four shots into, let's say, this commander. Okay. okay. Um, so these two first. So I hit three times. Yep. I'm normally needing fives to hit you, right? No, you need sixes. He's oh, concealed, right. gone to ground. Okay, so make three saves for him. All right, and then uh, do the other guy's shots. Then four shots for the other guy. Just one. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to try to swap this hit over to here. 
on a three up. Nope. And uh, then let's do some saves. So the bazooka guy still caught two in the building. So three ups. So one possible firepower six up for you. Here we go. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then uh, my platoon commander out in the open, three up. He's good. And that LMG team is good. Okay, so splitting up the shots again. Um, so two on this guy and two on the far guy. Okay. Um, so here's two for the far guy. And you're looking for sixes. You got one. I finally hit him. And then okay. this guy over here. Uh, oh. I need sixes. Yeah. So. All right, so you got one hit there. My front armor is five. It goes to six. What is his anti-tank rating? Twelve. Oh, okay, so I need a six. No, so firepower. Nope. Not that. Oh, nailed out. Okay, and with that, uh, that's the German turn. All right, first thing, let's do some uh, uh, morale checks here. This platoon got pinned again, so we're going to try to unpin on a three up. They are unpinned. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to make a last stand check for this Jeep on a four. And he sticks around. Okay. Then we're going to try to unpin this platoon. Third turn of trying to unpin these guys on a three up. Hey, finally, so they are unpinned. Then we've got uh, two M10s we need to try to bail in. Um, I forget if it's three or four, so we'll do this guy in the back. He's good. The other guy next to him, he's good. Oh. All that hard work. <laughs> they're back in and they're mad. They are ticked. And uh, with that, I get three dice for reserves. I get one automatically. And we get one automatically. So I think we're going to bring in our... Um, M12 155 millimeter artillery. All right, let's see where it comes in. One, two, this corner, three, four, five, six, that corner. On the back line again. I like it. I, no, no matter what, like 66 percent of the time, you're going to get them where they want to go. It's not really that scattered. Yeah. And well, these guys have a 96 inch range, so really they could go anywhere. All right, so um, we'll we'll deploy them and do some American movement. All right, and then these guys will drive up right here behind this objective, basically. So my thought is, and I'll explain my tactics, even though Jake's here, is that um, he's kind of shifting over here. I do have one large platoon. You've, you've killed a few stands, but they're tough. I've still got the company commander. I've only killed one. Oh, only one from here? Yeah. Maybe, just that guy. And then, uh, but these guys coming in a little bit harder. They've got decent um, direct fire. So if those Panthers come around, they're, they're going to face some, some fire. Um, otherwise, they can bombard, and they can be pretty scary on bombardment. So that way, just a little bit more insurance here, because I think over here with the Stuarts coming in, um, and now my paraplatoon unpinned, I can start dealing with this group and start moving forward. So we'll see what happens. We're going to go ahead and do the rest of our movement. We're going to try to blitz with these guys, these M10s. Let's see if we can make that happen. Yay. So let's go straight into some cross checks. They're all going to be going that way, Jake. Well, some variation of that way. So we're going to roll left to right. I'm just going to do all three at once to save time. So I guess that's right to left. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> right to left. Here we go. Three up, three up, three up. Okay. So only that guy gets to move. Okay. Movement is over. Uh, Stuart's moved up. Paraplatoon moved up. He moved out. Those guys failed, obviously. You saw that wonder. Um, oh, I forgot to move him. He's going to move. So uh, he's going to go, yes, on a one-man mission. He's going he's gonna to fail his morale check eventually, so he's going to go after either those uh, packs or maybe your Nebelwerfers back there, or just make you... Yeah, but in the meantime, they'll be shooting machine guns over there. And over here, I pulled back almost all of my infantry into this woods as a kind of a last stand. Uh, I did keep the bazooka there on Jake's advice, so if the Panthers come by, maybe I'll get a, a shot in the rear. And uh, you saw these guys um, move up already to cover that objective. 
and keep them away from the dastardly Germans. All right, so let's go and do some shooting. All right, Jake totally reminded me. I forgot these guys did not dig in the big platoon. So let's start with the Stuarts. We'll put 20 machine gun shots into that uh, unit of five that's not dug in. Here are ooh, too many dice. Okay, so I think that's uh, 18 because I dropped one under the table. So I'm hitting you on fours because you are on the ground, which means... Um, here, roll these two. Oh, so here are two more. No, those failed. Why don't you give me, give me those dice? <laughs> so I gotta fit the, figure out the two hit number here real quick. Sorry about that confusion. So I'm hitting on fives because they are concealed and gone to ground. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. So basically two of these five teams are gonna get double hits. Um, let's do the two on the back, get double hits and then one, one, one. So why don't you do, uh, we'll just go up. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in this pattern right here. Okay. All right, so the first platoon leader, good. The guy next to him, guy behind them, he's dead. And then the one closest to me, he's double, double. dead. And then the other guy survived. All right, so this guy and this guy succumbed to machine gun fire. All right, uh, paratroopers, I've got four that can fire, hitting on fives. I got one hit and then a bazooka hitting on a six. No. So uh, we'll just put it on the guy in the back, Jake. He's good. He's good. I'm going to do 250 cal shots from this guy into that same platoon. No. Ah. All right, and then uh, over here, that bazooka is going to, I guess, fire into that panther. Why not? No, we'll, we'll keep him. We'll keep him not shooting. It's probably a better idea. <laughs> um, well, actually, he moved, so he lost gone to ground regardless. So he's just concealed. So I might as well shoot. So normally I hit you on a three, so four for a uh, slow firing bazooka. So we hit that. Just don't roll a one for your armor save. Okay. And then, uh, oh yeah, we got a mortar over there. Uh, we are ranged in, so we're just hitting you outright on a three. And that's targeting that 88 again. Ah! And then, um, I think that's it for shooting. So let's go into some uh, sweet assaults here. All right, so I moved my paratroopers into assault. Uh, Jake's gonna get 10 shots, hitting me on four, so on average you should uh, repel me. Let's yes, see. here we go. I uh, did not. <laughs> oh, you only got four. All right, uh, and I assign these hits, I believe. Oh no, I think you assign them in defensive fire and then I do, I assign them in assault. So where do you want your four hits? Uh, we'll just go one, two, three, four. Okay, and in that order, one, dead, two, three, four. Ooh. So he's dead. Yep, the first, second, and fourth. And then him, and then these two? Uh, him and him. Okay. All right, we got two swings that really could only hit, actually just one that can only hit that guy, so we'll do that guy first. That's a six, so he is dead. I'm killing on a three. Then we've got one, two, four going after that guy. He's double dead. Then you can make a morale check. You just roll one die for both platoons. No, and uh, we'll re-roll it because of the six. command. Yep. Yes. Okay. So you can choose to come back or uh, assault. Yes, I choose to fight. Okay. Like so. So basically, you're going to get three swings. Yes. So this guy, so he hits, the guy behind him hits, and this guy hits. Okay, so you kill three. And then we're going to try to motivate back. We do. And then the bazooka team. So he's really hitting on a four, like you said. He kills him. <laughs> now that I say it, both of our teams have no issues with it. And then over here, I forget if that applies to the command, the platoon command team, because really that's still just a rifle MG team, but we'll see if it matters. No. It doesn't. <laughs> and I'm sure you want to kill that guy. Yes. So let's see if I come back at you. 
no nope. company. Um, and command. I think I'm outside of six inches now. Let me measure it live. Nope. Alright, so you gotta break off. Let's go back here. Alright, so these guys Paul pull, pull back. Jake fell into the woods. I'm not testing unless you manage to kill some guys here, but uh, that platoon will be testing again. And then uh, we're on to German turn four. Uh, let's just test to see if this guy sticks around. He does. Unpin him. He does. Um, unpin the idiots. They do not. <laughs> and that is everything. Okay, so just a quick recap on my movement. Um, the lone survivor of that platoon ran into this building, and he's hiding in the corner of this building. Um, my, they, oh, they all successfully blitzed, by the way. Um, my command team ran in this building on their blitz. Um, they're just staying where they are. I tried to move him into the woods again, but he failed again. Okay. Um, and then over here, we've just shuffled around so we can try to start pushing that objective. Okay. Um, the 88s failed to unpin again. And that was pretty much it, so let's shoot some artillery. All right, sounds good. Okay, so um, I'm going to shoot these guys first instead of the artillery. So we're splitting them up. We actually have a guy in the open over here, so we need fives to hit him. Ah, and then sevens for this guy because yeah, we're gone. These guys are going to ground. They didn't move or shoot. No, not even close. All right. You're going to repeat this bombardment? Yes, we are. So okay. um, the bailed out M10. Neither one's bailed out. That's your... Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. That's your range um, of And then the other M10. Nope. Nope. And then... Oh, wait, actually it is. I hit you on threes. No, I'm, you, I, I'm hit on fours. Oh, that's right. Um, and then the infantry team closest to you. No, nope. bazooka team. Ugh, you guys stink. Okay. So that's your artillery. That's those guys. Your infantry over here aren't going to shoot. So what do you got over here? Um, over here, I'm going to shoot machine guns since you fell back into the woods. Okay. So I know some of those guys aren't uh, protected. Yep. Um, let's go ahead, actually, and shoot these 88s just into that building real fast. Okay. Um, well, he's on the bottom floor, so these Panzers are going to block oh, yeah, the line of right. sight. Actually, I don't think my this guy has a shot at him. I at guess. him. Okay. Sounds good. One shot because they're still pinned down. Nope. No. And then you said uh, machine gun shots from your Panzers? Um, yes. So okay. we're going to do 12 shots just into the woods at whoever's not dug in, basically. Okay, 12 shots. You're, they are, uh, they're moved. So if you target the moving guy, so you're just hitting yep. on fives. Nice. Well, that's enough to pin them, and we'll go ahead and assign those and be right back. Alright, so we assigned the hits thusly. Three of these guys are not dug in. Basically, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So we'll roll those three. One, two, three. First guy is good. Second guy is good. Third guy is good. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> so those guys go away. And then these ones are dug in. So that guy, firepower test for him. <laughs> Why'd you have to bail the dug in? Yep. And then this guy who's still dug in is good. And then the mortar is good. All right, so you pinned them down, but you didn't kill anybody. All right. All right, these two, same target. Okay. Six shots from them. Two hits. All right, so you probably do this guy and this guy, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Three up for the rifle team. Oh, he's dead. Yay. And so you kill one. All right, Jake's going to try to get cheeky here, dropping a bombardment here. Yeah. From that mortars. mortar. So here we go, ranging on a four. We do. Okay. So we're covering three of those um, self-propelled guns and two infantry teams. All right. So you just want to go one, two, three real quick? Yeah. And I'm going to hit on threes. First, second. So the first and second are hit. Okay. And then the bazooka see. team is hit, and the guy next to him missed. All right. Let's do the bazooka team first. He's a three up. He's good. And what's their anti-tank rating on those mortars? Two. All right, so we'll go with this guy on my left. He's good. Next guy, he's good. And with that, that's the end of the German turn. Sadly, yes. <laughs> All right, so on to American. This time it's American turn four. Let's unpin this airborne platoon. Yes. Let's unpin 
this airborne platoon. Three up. Yes. And I think that's all my unpinning. Let's see if the Jeep sticks around with his four plus. Oh, he finally leaves. Yeah, take that Jeep. You're going to take those victories where you can find them. And then, uh, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, reserves. I'm getting four dice. So I get one automatically. That's just one. We're going to bring in the pack 75s. And they're coming in in this corner. Very nice. All right, we're going to try to blitz with the M12s. Thanks for the, <laughs> thanks for the suggestion, Jake. I was like, oh, well, they could blitz, and then he's like, oh, I'm blitzing. Uh, I'll double check. I think I'm a four plus, but they're three plus skill, so they blitz successfully. All right, so movement is done. My remnants of my para platoon are charging forward. That's probably a bad idea. Uh, I've done several things wrong over here, but uh, meanwhile, my armor is moving over here to support these guys. Um, because even though you're threatening with Panthers, I feel like I got a lot over there, so I'm not super scared, but I'm still somewhat scared. Uh, and I think that's it. So let's go straight into shooting, shall we? I've got one bazooka shot at your infantry guy. Okay. Alright, so normally you're hit on threes. Fours because I moved. Fives because you're concealed. Yep. Poof. No. And then next, over here, we got that blitz off. Oh my goodness. So we've got one's got an open shot on that panther right there, and then one's got a uh, concealed it's shot. So one's going to hit you on four, one's going to hit you on five. Isn't it three? I get hit on three. It's short range. I mean, it's long range. Oh, long range. Okay, so here is the uh, hit on four. Oh, and here's the hit on five. No. So one hit. Your AT-9 goes to a 10 versus anti-tank 15. I got this. You got this. Let's see that 6. Oh, 5. Oh, possible bail. Well, actually, it's an automatic bail because it's I have a 1 plus, one plus fire power. Even direct fire? Jeez. Direct fire especially. So he is bailed out. One bazooka is going to fire into the puma. Hitting you on he. Did no, he, he moved last turn, so just hitting you on a straight up three. That's a hit. Uh, we go straight to firepower. Your front armor's three, right? Yeah, for those, yeah. Anti tank 10 for bazooka. We're gonna go for the one uh, closest to the firer, and he's bailed out. So, over there, we're gonna try our hand at assault. Do it within eight inches. Let you help out. Okay, three shots. Okay. So you got two hits, right? Two hits, yeah. Because you get concealment, right? Yep. Yeah. So there's there's uh, two guys in there. Here's the bazooka team and the commander. They're Dang both it. good. <laughs> the bazooka is going to kill you on a four, and he does. Aww. So it finishes off that platoon. Then we'll consolidate the platoon, and they end up consolidating right there. And I think with that, that ends my turn uh, four. So on to German turn five. Okay, three plus, get back in. Let's see the panther. Uh, oh no. And then this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, at least that unit's not testing now. I don't care. You don't care. <laughs> I don't. All right, and then uh, on to your movement. Now, do you have any unpinning? No, you don't have any unpinning to do. Oh yeah, your 88s are still tight. Oh yeah, that's right. And they they, they remain three turns now. <laughs> okay. All right, we're blitzing panthers. Yes, we're gonna try. Ugh, oh no! They'll just fail everything, Mister. <laughs> They're falling apart, man. Yep. All right, and I'm gonna try to drop a line of smoke just in front of me. Since okay. he didn't get back in, that was actually really big. Do you want to go over your movement? Um. Oh yeah. So I didn't really move at all. <laughs> 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 moved over there. there oh, there's oh. everybody. Over here, you did some shuffling, though. Yes. So here we go. Dropping smoke over there. We definitely get it. Okay. Jake, smoke ends up. There's a straight line right yeah, across there. Yeah, I dropped it right there just because even if you do blitz, you still won't be able to shoot through it. So. Yeah, he's worried about direct fire from the M12s, as he should be. That protects his panther from getting more shots. Yeah. Uh, but you do leave the LMG to give 
so I can else at least shoot, shoot at. something with these two. Yep. All right. So on to uh, sh rest of your shooting. Where you want to start first? Um, let's go ahead and start with the eighty-eights. Okay. The, the biggest upset. All right, four shots at that LMG team uh, or the bazooka. Two because they never unpinned. Oh, they never unpinned. For three turns. Okay. So we're shooting at him. Okay. Missed. Nope. They've also never hit anything. <laughs> All right. What about those pumas? Uh, three, six shots into the bazooka. The bazooka. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we hit you twice. Okay. Let's see two three ups. Actually. Now they, they might be a little bit too far away, so I think they both go on the bazooka. So one six up firepower. Come on. Ah, no. I saw it. I know, yeah. I know. Dance over. All right, you want to do your Panthers next? Yeah, let's just bounce over to them real fast. Two so. shots, normally fours because of what you are, fives for long range, and it's uh, sixes, sixes because, because, you because I failed the blitz. Yeah. I'm That's never blitzing again, internet. <laughs> 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 that wouldn't have mattered anyway. Okay. <laughs> And then uh, do your packs. And then uh, we're actually going to shoot the artillery here first. Okay. We can cover four teams. We're trying for that spot. Okay. Um, so range in, we do. Yeah. Um, so I'll just go one at a time and point. So this bazooka team, we hit them. This one, got them. This one, missed. And this one, missed. All right, unless you hit the guys that get pull through cover. Uh, bazooka team, three up. He's fine. Good. And the other guy, he's good. Ah, okay. <laughs> but that pins him down. Oh, they're pinned from the assault anyway. But um, Okay. And then yes. now your packs. And then, yeah. So we're going to have some shots. We're going to go into the M10 Okay. right there. And then this one is going to go into this M10 right here. Okay. That one looks like it's going to be concealed. I think so. I think it's right at the 50% right. obscured. So, so we got to do them separately. Two at fives and two at four. At sixes. sixes. Yep. Two, two fives? Oh, and then this pack 40, sorry, I should declare it all. This one's just going into the building. Okay, shoot at the infantry. Yeah. Okay. So, the one at, nope. Oh, and then the best chance sixes right here. here. Hey, hey, you got one. So, firepower? Uh, yeah, because I'm in here. But, oh, yeah, I got him. Destroy him. Good job. And then the uh, last one here, two shots needing fives. Okay. One. Let's see a three up save. Yay! Oh, oh, firepower. Yeah, I made firepower. Dang it. <laughs> Ah, oh. <laughs> when you finally fail it. <laughs> All right, so you got a you got another M10, but I'm still still good. And is that it for your shooting? Um, yes, that was everything. And then, do you have any assaults? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't have infantry anymore. All right, it's time to do some tests. What we're going to do is we're going to try to um, unpin, actually those guys aren't, oh yeah, they were hit by, no, you missed them, so the infantry are not pinned down over here. Over here is where my infantry is pinned down, so we're going to go ahead and on a three up, unpin them hopefully. Yep. And then I think that is all my pinning and unpinning so I think I get four dice or five dice for reserves so I'm gonna get one for sure I only have one platoon off the table it is my airborne 81 millimeter mortars so let's go ahead and roll those bad boys up and they come in at five which is this corner over here 16 so uh, let's get those on the table all right we're gonna try some blitzing over here here's the big one um, we're going to go with the M10s. We're going to try to blitz. The reason why I'm trying to blitz is um, I'm at long range, but if I get a successful blitz, I could move within um, short range. And uh, so that would give me two shots at short range instead of one shot moving at long range or short range. So let's see if we get it. Three, which is why I bought the Desert Veterans card. So that means I am successful. All right, uh, Stewarts, we're going to try to blitz them as well. All right, uh, first thing in the shooting phase, my commander blitzed to the edge of the woods. I had to use my lucky card to do it, but he blitzed successfully to the edge of the woods. So you can see he didn't move, so he can call in a bombardment. He's going to call in a smoke bombardment on this panther going this way from these pack 75s So let's see if I can range in 
on a three. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and I don't. And I spent my lucky, so no smoke for them. Okay. Next up, we're going to go here with these two tanks that blitzed but did not move. So we got two shots at short range, two shots at long range. So we're hitting you uh, on threes at short range. That's two hits. <laughs> Come on. And then fours at long. Okay, so that's four hits. So we're going to put a short and a long range on each one. So AT12 versus nine, AT. Short. Two. Failed it. That's a pen. Long. Also failed it. Uh, no, that's a tie. Okay. Well, see if you blow it up. Okay. Um, this guy. Yeah, Maybe. he's toast. And okay. then the next guy, short, short. range. Oh, no. Failed it. Long. He's Keep destroyed. Up. And right. that's the Panthers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the Panthers are gone. So that makes that assault a lot look a lot better now. And with that... Do you have something to say, Jake? Yeah, I concede. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. Since we live together, we can shake hands with the COVID. Um, yeah, let's talk about it in the wrap-up. We'll talk about everything in the wrap-up. But Well, folks, we're back after a thrilling Flames of War game. I ended up with a uh, U.S. paratrooper victory over the evil SS. Yep. Um, that was a pretty... I, the scenario, let's start with the scenario before we talk about the game. Yeah. Because it's a brand new scenario out of that book. What do you think of the scenario? I don't know. It's hard to say without playing it multiple times, probably with different lists. Um, the hardest part I found as the attacker is being deployed in those boxes. Um, you, you could put 60 on one side and 40 on the other, or you can kind of like, you have a little window between 40 and 60 per side. Um, and so that was really hard, at least for my army, to make that split. Especially once you, if you have one really expensive unit, mm -hmm. it's a really big deal deciding where that unit goes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Although your very expensive Panthers weren't that uh, big of a factor in this game. No, they really didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I think they maybe did killed they kill a team anybody? of infantry. Maybe did they pick off an M10 or was that all pack 40s that did that? I think that was the yeah. was the 7.5s. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's an interesting scenario. It's different, uh, particularly with the way that the uh, objectives are either across the back or you can put one up front in the middle. Yeah, I'm wondering if having one up front in the middle and one on the side would make it easier to kind of pinch them together, but oh, I, I'm looking forward to trying that mission again. The reason I didn't do that is just because you would have had both infantry platoons close to each other, so like if I finally would have gotten one, you could have easily in a turn been over Probably. on my side. That's the only reason why I split them super far. Yeah. So it was, a, it was a good game. But yeah, I felt it was a little anticlimactic at the end, especially since like you moved, just drove up to me, shot, and it was like, got him. <laughs> like, yeah. Meanwhile, like we were, before that, we were just sitting there for turns, like slugging it out. <laughs> yeah, the intents came over and they passed their blitz, and then they they destroyed both Panthers. Yeah, which so. is crazy. And then the other one was bailed. And after that, like once I only had one left, because I was planning on on that turn, because I had to also, I was just slamming into that objective as hard as I could with everything. Yeah. And calling both bombardments in over there. Um, but we, we didn't even get that far. No, well, because I would have assaulted the Pumas and the bailed out Panther. And exactly. Probably. I only have six shots. Odds are I wouldn't hit you on fours. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would have captured the panther and maybe yeah. Italy, at best make the, the pumas run away. Yeah. But it was good. And I don't think two pumas can get an American fearless <laughs> veteran uh, airborne off the Air Air was, yeah. Backed up by M12 artillery. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I was happy that I got to shoot them, even though it was one shot in direct fire. Well, I guess two shots. But I bailed you out. Well, I mean, you nice. forced me to smoke that area, yeah. right? If if they weren't there, I wouldn't have needed to smoke it at all. So, 
It was good. Um, so as far as my list, I thought my list was good. I th I've taken a very a list similar to this against Sam, but I think Sam beat me before I could get like half my, half my army on the table. Yeah. So it was nice to actually get everything on the table and almost everything contributed. I think the 81 millimeter mortars didn't uh, didn't shoot, but otherwise it's pretty good. I, I know I made a few mistakes um, when I was assaulting you on my left side, my left flank. Um, I should have gone in with the stewards first, which is something you told me, and I still went in with the airborne. Yeah, because I ended up killing like five or six teams out of that, right? Something like that. <laughs> but, I mean, I still won, they were still there, and they didn't break. And they still pushed me back. <laughs> and and still... they were probably going to keep going, coming. So. Yeah, I was going to assault the, the uh, Pack 40, the 7.5 millimeter anti tank guns, yeah. and then on into the Neville Warfers. But there's only five teams, so they weren't going to break anytime super soon, but you could have got lucky with Overwatch. Yeah. Um, so it been would be interesting to see, but um, I should have gone in with the stewards first, yep. weathered the fire, particularly since I got all your Panzer Shreks and you didn't pay for um, Panzer Fausts. Yeah. So once the Shreks were gone, the tanks could have gone in Yeah. pretty, pretty easy. But uh, you know, that it, it worked anyway, but I could have been more efficient, I think, in that attack. Yeah. Um, as far as on my other flank, uh, I think it was fine. I mean, I really didn't go anywhere. Um, I was just holding that objective because your big push was on the other side. Yeah. But I think once my M10s ambushed on turn one and killed your Panzer, uh, Yog Panzer fours, and the Jeeps killed your AA. Yeah. Um, it wasn't quite as scary, especially since you failed that uh, that charge. And that was probably a bad move on my part, maybe being too aggressive with them, but I wanted to keep them up with the infantry to try to slam into you before you could get reserves in, was yeah. the idea. Maybe if you had taken them through the woods or given them some kind of cover, yeah. so they weren't out in the open, but I don't know, I got pretty lucky with that M10 salvo as it yeah, was. I even made, like, I bounced two of the shots total, it's just all of them stacked, so they, you still blew up everybody. Yeah. So. yeah, I think I got six hits out of eight. Yeah, those M10s though are definitely uh, your MVP. They're pretty good. Yeah, they, they took out the <laughs> they killed the Yog Panzer fours and they killed uh, two of the three Panthers. Yeah, yeah they, they basically killed the whole unit. Right? Yeah, they, <laughs> so they did pretty they did pretty good for themselves. Yeah, uh, but overall it was it was good. Um, SS as far as a book. Now we're going to do a separate review. I don't know if you're going to sit in on that review or not, but you probably should just because you've had some experience with it. Um, you know, this list, you built a list using the uh, Panzer Jaeger? No, Panzer, Panzer Grenadier. Grenadier. Yeah. Uh, was your core formation. Yeah. Um, all, Almost all of the um, SS units are hit on threes because they're fearless. Yeah. With the three plus motivation and the four plus skill, but you've got that old hands rule to, to give them a Which isn't bad, tactics. but it's, it's hard to get it off. You have to be crammed together. It is, and it only affects tactics. It's tactics three plus. Yeah. So that's just movement orders. Yeah. I mean, so it's not great, but once you're, um, you know, it's hard for you guys to run away, and we, we saw that, you know, your three up saves are pretty good. Yeah. But the fact that you're hit on threes, and version three, that would be trained, yeah. um, is just, it's just hard to overcome. It's brutal. <laughs> Particularly when you're attacking. Yeah, attacking the trained infantry company, attacking the <laughs> the paratroopers was a little brutal. Yeah. And like, even if you were trained, for example, like I hit, I think I got four fives just shooting anti-tank the first time in your M10s. Like yeah. I probably would have wiped them out had you been trained in yeah. that veteran. Well, there are no trained M10s, but I, I get your point. Everybody knows uh, what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it, it's true. So, you know, maybe I've, I've taken uh, trained hit on threes uh, Sherman companies before. And they are tough, and the way to survive that is just by using smoke. Yeah. I mean, maybe you should have smoked it off turn one so no one could shoot you, get into position, and then on turn two just have everything all ready to go. But I don't know, it's, uh, it's a tough call. The thing was, I was basically in position already. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would have got one or two more shots with the uh, Panthers. But, but until you knew where the uh, M10 ambush was, Maybe it was better. I don't know. It's hard to say. I might be able to keep the M10s out of ambush it is, until yeah. you got closer. Because I feel like a lot of people would give me flack too on not smoking that first turn. I drove up when I saw the M10s, but the reason I didn't is because if I smoked right in front of them, yes, I would have been relatively safe, but I wouldn't have got to shoot almost everything I have at them. Like I would have had that would have been like three or four anti-tank units just doing nothing for a turn. Yeah. Which what's the point in smoking if you're just I still think you should have done it, but that's yourself. where we, we disagree, and it was I your disagree, army. sir. <laughs> <laughs> so I think if you would have smoked, I only got five hits out of uh, when, when you weren't smoked, 
and repel the assault. If you'd been smoked there, I'm sure one of the Oh, when my infantry went up? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If you had dropped yeah. smoke there, you would have got in. How much damage you would have done, that's another story. I have story. four teams in, and I probably wouldn't have hurt your tanks at all, so, yeah. yeah. Or make them run away. The thing is, you make them run away. Top armor zero, you could hurt them. Maybe. But, um, yeah. But it's still You'd hard. still have to roll pretty it's bad. bad. <laughs> but that might have been your best chance to win early. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you were. it was a much worse chance for your Panthers to come in and take the ob other objective away from a... Uh, another airborne platoon. Yes. But, <laughs> but I don't know, I'm wondering maybe if your original thought it was, you know, how you drove your Panthers over to my left, and yeah. I guess it's the viewer's left too, um, if you'd waited a turn until everything was over there and then gone in. Oh, yeah. it'd be interesting. It's hard to say. The Panthers in general too, I don't know how I feel about them. Not being front armor 10 is really huge, especially against AT-12, because yeah. you're right in that spot of like, oh, I'm not as safe as I thought I was. And that was proved by you rolling in and blowing me up at the end. So, well, yeah. like, personally, I'm more of a fan of the Tiger right now. But I well, this is the Tiger. There are a lot of advantages. Like, the Stewards could threaten a Panther on the side. Yeah. But you're getting more Panthers for, I think you can get three of these Panthers for two Tigers. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Panther-Tiger debate, I think, is, is good yeah. to have. I don't, know. I don't know the points comparison, so that's probably a big factor. I think two... Mind. SS Tigers or three Panthers? I think in general, just having your Tigers though, because that side armor eight is huge. Like, I was about to be threatened by your Stewards the next turn, yeah. and like, I was worried about that, and yeah. I, so tigers it was a lot, of, to worry about. a lot of things going on. And then the wide tracks on the Tigers as well is actually really, really nice, whereas Panthers don't have it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting. I think next game that we play, or one of the next games, I'm going to take a Panther company versus whatever you want to take, British or Americans. Yeah and uh, see what I can do with that because you are paying about, I think it's 26 points for three. Yep. Uh, they're more expensive, smaller, I think like two is 20 points or yeah. something like that. That's but HQ though. That's HQ. Yeah. Um, so we'll see, but uh, so that's something to look forward to. Yeah. Overall, I think the, the game, even though you failed in that first assault, you were still in the game. The odds were stacked heavily oh, against yeah. you. As soon as the infantry went down, it went like way harder. Yeah. But I, yeah, I tried. <laughs> and I got my M12s in the right spot on the backfield so they could drive up and overwatch, basically overwatch that objective on my right. Yeah. Um, and I think from there, unless I made a big mistake, or you got lucky with an artillery bombardment, the writing was... That's what I tried. Those mortars and those German mortars are awesome. Yeah, that, that's all mortars in version 4. They are, are so, so good. And I hate that, like, your giant guns are only AT-3. My mortar is AT-2. <laughs> so yeah. it's just like, it feels really silly, but my mortar has a 3 plus firepower. Like... So that's why I bombarded your tank so often with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good chance of killing you. Yeah. yeah, since it's open top, there was zero armor. Yeah, yeah, it's like, why not? <laughs> All right, guys, well, there you go. That's another Flames of War battle looking at the new SSD Day book. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. Uh, we kind of keep you updated on what we're working on there. Also, here on YouTube, please give us a like and subscribe. Let us know what you think about this battle. Uh, down below, let us know if, if you have any matchups you'd like to see us uh, play. Uh, we I'd be curious to see what you guys are interested we in. We don't have any Russians, so we have any Russians, but we're in the D-Day release. Just, yeah, that's true. Maybe <laughs> Battlefront will send me some some Russians uh, to to review when they when they go back to the Eastern Front. Yeah, that'd be cool. IS-2s, those are cool tanks. I do like IS-2s, I like those but I'm a Lend-Lease guy. If I'm going to go Russian, I'll probably build a bunch of Lend-Lease shirts. You already have them. Why not do a new tank? Well, branch out. Maybe Lend Lease uh, M3 Lees. That would no, be cool. Nothing part of the Lend Lease <laughs> Act. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty cool. Okay, but there you go, guys. Um, please like and subscribe here on YouTube. Also, click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. As always, thanks for watching and keep on wargaming.